Hey guys and welcome to another video with cloudwoods.net and today we're looking at three server backup solutions, Cloudberry, Acronus and StorageCraft. You've been tasked with backing up a Windows server. As a server admin, you know how many options and choices you faced while configuring and maybe even deploying your server, and now you face a similar mountain of options when it comes to backing it up. We've moved far beyond the days when server backup typically meant crafting a schedule to rotate magnetic storage tapes, and while these still exist, for some strange reason, the evolution of inexpensive storage solutions, virtualization, and cloud computing have drastically altered the business of server administration and backup. But why backup your server in the first place? In years past, I've never needed to spend time convincing server administrators to backup their servers. While consumers may not always understand the real threat of data loss, any server admin worth his or her salt always had some sort of backup solution in place. I've noticed this has changed slightly with the rise of cloud computing. When a server can instantaneously spin up out of thin air in a virtual Amazon EC2, Rackspace or Microsoft Azure environment, I've talked to some people who don't consider backup necessary. While any respectable cloud computing provider should have a very robust backup and redundancy scheme in place, even if a provider could completely eliminate the threat of a hard drive failure that doesn't eliminate your chances of data or function loss. There is an interesting study by Symantec where 47% of enterprises have already lost data in the cloud because they didn't have a backup in place. Now that we've discussed why a backup is still important, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. What makes server backup different? Backing up a server involves much more consideration and planning than a standard personal computer. For a home user, having data backed up in any form generally feels adequate. Even if a restoration takes weeks or software needs reinstallation, most consumers seem happy to get their data back eventually. Business server backup has far greater complications and obviously consequences. One server can provide necessary job function to an entire company, essentially. A logistics company may depend completely on an exchange server for email and contact information. An engineering firm may have massive project files and software licenses on a central server. A retail company server may contain all in inventory and resource management software. The Correct backup solution for your server must not only ensure data security, but enable you to restore complete server functionality within a window of time dictated by the needs of your organization. That's why you should consider features, ease of use, performance, support, and obviously pricing. And that's why I've used, and that's what I've used to gauge the services I show you here in this video. In order to decide which product is right for you, it helps to have a clear understanding of your particular needs. Here are some questions that I recommend you ask yourself. What server type do you have? Simple storage servers have obviously different needs than domain controllers, which have different needs than Active SQL, Exchange, or other database servers. Next question is, how much do you need to store? How much data in gigabytes or terabytes do you need to back up? This can greatly impact costs with any cloud solution priced per gigabyte. And how much downtime can your company afford? Though no one wants a server to go down, some situations allow for a few days to restore while others need a nearly instantaneous or even fully redundant solution. And finally, the final question, what is your budget? Some products have one-time costs, while other cloud solutions require perpetual monthly payments. Decide which model suits your needs best. Now, let's dive in and let's take a closer look at what these server backup programs have to offer. So, let's first look at our top pick, Cloudberry Backup. Cloudberry Backup from Cloudberry Lab is a unique and somewhat intriguing product. Most server backup solutions either offer 
software only, which leaves you to figure out your own storage location or encourage you to sign up for their in-house cloud storage service for a monthly fee. As you can read in our Cloudberry review, uh, which I'll leave you here, the software has support for local backups, but its most unique feature is the ability to link to third-party providers such as Amazon S3 or Glacier, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Rackspace, Backblaze B2, and many more. Instead of pushing their own cloud storage, Cloudberry gives server admins the ability to amplify the power of their storage provider of choice. You can now turn an inexpensive solution like Amazon Glacier into a fully functional backup service instead of merely a simple storage bucket. Also, simple direct cloud account backup is a fantastic feature if you use more than one cloud storage service, for example. Cloudberry Backup is also a very powerful backup product in its own right. The Windows Server Edition allows for block-level image-based backups, which allows you to take full snapshots of your server while only modifying the individual blocks of data that changed since the previous backup. Block-level images combined with data compression work together to greatly improve backup speed and reduce storage space, which are both critical when working with cloud storage that charges by the gigabytes stored or transferred. While you can choose any supported storage provider, if you select Amazon EC2 or Microsoft Azure, Cloudberry can instantly use any backup image to create a virtual machine in the cloud. Hyper-V and VMware restores are also included. This instant virtualization proves immensely valuable when downtime is critical. Pricing varies depending on whether you need a basic server or database support, while the Ultimate Edition includes all features. All versions are one-time purchases per computer and very reasonably priced, but of course do not include any third-party cloud storage costs. The Windows Server Edition, for example, costs $119.99 US dollars. The next contender in our field is Acronis Backup 12. Acronis offers a full suite of backup and storage management software with solutions ranging from consumer use up to full enterprise management. With a recent push towards their own cloud storage solutions, Acronis can provide you with a complete storage backup and disaster recovery solution. Acronis Backup 12 is a complete backup solution that supports 16 platforms, including Microsoft Exchange, SQL, Microsoft Azure, Amazon EC2, as well as Android and iOS devices. Acronis recently added support for Office 365 uh, backups as well uh, via an additional license. This broad support, particularly of mobile devices, is one of Acronis's most unique features. Though mobile device backup requires an Acronis cloud subscription, Acronis is the first product I've seen to integrate Android and iOS device backup, which sounds like a fantastic feature with today's increasingly mobile workforce. Acronis backup pricing varies depending on device and licenses are available as a one-time perpetual license or a one to three year subscription. Any license purchase includes one terabyte of uh, Acronis cloud storage for one year, at uh, which point standard pricing would apply. Today, we're only looking at Windows Server backup, but it is important to note that workstations and Office 365 backups are supported, but require a separate license. The Windows Server perpetual license costs $999, or in a one-year subscription, a little over $40 US dollars per month which makes it more expensive compared to Cloudberry Backup and a cheap cloud storage option. I especially dislike maintenance fees in the case of Acronis because they only offer email support which, with, a, with a response window from one business day to one hour. At the very least, if I'm forced to pay for maintenance and support, it would be nice to know I could talk to a live human if I need it. All in all, Acronis is a powerful product with a few unique with few unique features, but the higher cost, software maintenance fees, and limited support options would cause me to look elsewhere first. The Acronis Cloud option does enhance the offering with the ability for an all-in-one solution, and while the storage fees aren't the cheapest available, they aren't unreasonable. The third and last solution in this list of the best Windows backup uh, uh, server uh, solutions is StorageCraft. StorageCraft Shadow Protect is a fast, reliable, and flexible local backup solution for Windows servers, but lacks some of the forward-looking cloud integrations of other products in this segment. With XPX, 
you have the ability to boot any backup image as a VM directly from StorageCraft's image chain browser. StorageCraft also provides what they call the image manager that allows you to easily verify, consolidate, and replicate backup images. While these are all great features, they're not necessarily unique these days. StorageCraft offers a branded StorageCraft cloud backup service, but it seems a bit odd to keep it as an entirely separate product. Just as a number of the solutions in this review either offer native cloud backup support or at least cloud add-on options, Shadow Protect SPX would definitely benefit from some tighter cloud integration. On a positive note, StorageCraft SPX allows you to back up Windows Server, SQL, Exchange, SharePoint, and other critical applications without requiring separate or additional licensing. SPX is sold as an upfront license purchase for $1,000 with uh, one year of included maintenance and extended software maintenance cost $290 per year. Though only basic support comes included, you do have the option to upgrade to premium support for roughly $150 per year. And premium support provides 24-hour telephone support for emergency issues and 24-hour online support for high, medium, and low severity issues. Additionally, premium clients are given priority placement and support queues during normal business hours. While you may value the premium support option, this fee combined with the annual software maintenance fee places StorageCraft a bit on the high side when you consider ongoing costs. If you'd like to have a look at more Windows Server backup solutions, you can head over to our in-depth comparison article where we also compare Macrium, uh, Datto series, and Veritas Backup Exec, and I'll leave all the links in uh, the notes below this video, so check them out. Choosing, choosing the best server backup software is no simple task. Since server environments can have tremendous diversity, different software providers often take a very different approach to the task of backing up. As time goes on and, uh, and software matures, I have seen more advanced features included on far less expensive products. Something like instant virtualization used to be a rare feature, but now feels like an expectation from any product. While the core backup features match more evenly, software companies have looked toward cloud integrations and improved management features to set their product apart. Some of the contenders mentioned in this video, like Shadow Protect, offer no easy cloud integration. Others, like Acronis, do provide cloud support, but only through their in-house offering, which can get pricey. Cloudberry is the, well, the only solution to support a massive library of third-party cloud providers. This allows you to not only utilize your preferred provider, but also enables flexibility and cloud-to-cloud and -cloud backups for maximum protection. It's not often in my reviews that the least expensive product provides a truly unique feature set that stands out so clearly from the competition. Have you used a Windows Server backup solution before? I'd really like to read your thoughts and comments and leave them in the comments, comment box below this video and obviously subscribe to this channel here on YouTube. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.